So let us solve our examples and uh, ku solidify the concept ambazo tumeziona hapa nyuma. So we are having a, a small bob of mass 50 grams and oscillating simple pendulum with an amplitude of 5 cm in time period of 2 seconds. So find the velocity of the bulb and the tension of the supporting thread when the velocity of the bulb is maximum. Well, the first question is just is we know velocity a simple moment motion is a maximum is a sana angular velocity times the amplitude. Okay, angular velocity times the amplitude. Angular velocity is given by 2 pi over time period. Okay, 2 pi over time period. So 2 pi over time period in 2 seconds. So we have 2, 2, and 2 is the angular angular frequency, angular uh, speed or velocity, the pi per second. Okay times amplitude to 0.5 cm and bone is 0.05 meters, you get your maximum velocity. So the tension in the supporting thread, you remember to resume the F, okay, the tension F minus the component here weight and boil equal mg cos theta. You remember component here weight and boil equal mg cos theta. Nisasana na na nisasana na uki subtract na pata the centripetal force okay as i said here yeah. the form the form is easy kwamba tension ni sana mv squared divide by r mv squared divide by r ambayo r ni length ya string plus mg cos theta so exactly is what they have done here mg cos theta m v max over l so we have the mass we have the gravity we have the mass, we have the velocity maximum rate to my part, and uh, we don't have the length, okay? So we can't find the length, because our time period is given by 2 pi length over g. We have the time period, this is a constant, constant, so we can, from this we can get the, the length. And therefore, 0 0.05, which is the weight times the gravity, plus um, uh, the mass we have 0 0.05, grams we convert to kilograms times uh, velocity squared the velocity is here squared times the length and bond which kitu kilikuwa hapa ndo make up the length and so after doing that you get your answer attention to be 0 0.49 remember that uh, cos theta when you, this solution haijao included japokuwa hapa tulisema ipo Remember, to resume the velocity of the bulb is maximum wapi ikiwa kwenye mean point. So, if this is our pendulum, the mean point is exactly here. So, as you can see, at this point, the angle is zero. Kumbuka ile angle ilikuwa aji. Ilikuwa hivi, kwa ilikuwa hapo, kuna component ya weight mg. In that component, uko the angle is here. So as it comes this side, this angle keeps on decreasing. It keeps on decreasing. Paka itakapo fika hapa, mg itakoi na at downward, na e itakoi na at downward. So basically, the component e itakoi ni mg peke yake. So the angle will be zero. Now, when ukiweka cos kwenye formula, ukiweka cos iwe zero, cos zero ni one. So basically, ni mana hako imetolewa. So just three. Remember that it is still kachanga nikio. And we have another example where a simple pendulum is ex executing simple harmonic motion with time period t. If the length of the pendulum is increased by 21%, it will be the percentage increase in the time period. So we have the time period initially here. So from here we know this is a constant time period is direct proportional to the to the square root here length. So if we have, we have to compare two periods. So remember, mwanzo ya kawaida ya pili kwa increase by 21%. So we have T2 over T1. Since the direct proportion of the square root of length, we say that we have time period. Length na length is na correspond. T2 na huku juu na length. So lakini we have to have frequency kwa sabu ni 1 over T is na kuwa the opposite. Frequency is inversely proportional to the length. So for this case, T2 is the time period ya pili. Okay? Na ina correspond to length 2. Length 2 ambo ilikuwa na 21% increase. It means kama length 1 ilikuwa ni L1. 
length 2 ilikuwa increased by 21%. Length 1 plus 21% of length 2 which is 0. Point, ilikuwa ni 0. 0.21 L1. Kwa basically inakuwa length 2 ni 1 plus 0. 0.21. So this inakuwa length 2. Kwa inakuwa ni 1.21 length 1 kondo ya T2, T1 niyo, length 1 niko. Kwa length 1 na length 1 sina cancer, T1 over T2 inakuwa ni saa sana, square root ya 121, ambao ni 1.1. So T2 ni saa sana, T1 times 1.1. So as you can see, kuna percentage increase ya 0.1 niko. Hapa, kwa sababu kupata increase in time period, maana kuna chukua T2 minus T1 divided by T2 times 100%. So we have T2 ni 1.1 1.1 T1 minus T1 ambo T1 divide by, actually divide by T1 okay, sorry, divide by T1 times 100. Basically ni raise to unangalia pili component ya. Katika moja imeongezeka ngapi? But it's simple as that. Kilicho ongezeka pa ni 0 0.1. Ambo 0 0.1 times 100 ni 10%. Yeah, so, I hope that is clear. Yeah. So, remember ni T2 minus T1 divided by T1. Unapata percentage increase as as compared to T1. Because hapa ilikuwa ni length ya yeah, increase as compared to length 1. So, the same time period, percentage increase in T, T2. Because imekua expressed as a function of T1. Kuna kuwa T2 minus T1 divided by T1 times 100% pata kilicho ongezeka kutoka from T1 kwa sababu ndo likuwa inishu kuchini na kainishu. So basically, kwa teknik raisi ni kuangalia katika moja imaongezeka ngapi, imaongezeka 0.1. Basi 0.1 times 100% inakuwa ni 10%. We have a simple pendulum consisting of small sphere of mass M suspended by thread L. The sphere ina keli a positive charge Q. The pendulum is placed in a uniform electric field strength E directed vertically upwards. With what period of the pendulum will oscillate if the electrostatic force acting on the sphere is less than the gravitational force? So, electrostatics. Kama mesoma electrostatics, najua by this point, kama umefata syllabus electrostatics, nafwa mjesoma, but it is an interesting question. Dinge fa zaidi kukaa kule kwenye electrostatics. Lakini si mbaya, nitawambia. Fukisoma electrostatics, you can always come back and understand the concept. So, na kwa vile mtiani uwa mnapewa nekta, ashumi kwa mba you know everything. So, it is safe, ata tukifanya hapa na ukali leo. So, we have a pendulum bulb. Okay, we have a pendulum bulb. It has ashumi kwa hapa to simplify. So, we have weight acting downwards. G. and we have electrostatic force to make our electrostatic field strength but we know field strength times charge you know part of force so the field strength times charge you know part upward force on the ball when we say may not act vertically upward okay vertically upward for in e times q the field strength okay the field strength that we have so, what is what with what period would the pendulum oscillate if the electrostatic force acting on the sphere is less than the gravitational force? Okay, so that is the question. So, uh, we know that uh, the 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 net force it act the difference net force the act when the string the difference between the two. So, kichukua net downward force kwa sababu amesema kwamba assuming the electrostatic force is less than the gravitation the gravitational force is more so the gravitational force minus the electrostatic force that is what will cause the net force so we know that acceleration is equal to i mean force is equal to mass times acceleration so if we we get okay the acceleration from there kwamba mg minus q you can divide by m uku, divide by m uku. so come on any level in is a sign of mass times acceleration so divide by mass uku, divide by mass uku. mass na mass the cancel to put your part acceleration sana mg minus q e over m so if you simplify the part of m 
cancel m itabaki hapa mwenye q equal to g minus q e over m into acceleration but we know the time period of oscillation is sana 2 pi length over g g is actually in gravity hiyo ni under ideal condition where gravity alone is acting but basically hiyo ni acceleration so time period inakuwa ni 2 uh, pi l over acceleration for this case the acceleration is due to the net effect of the electrostatic force and both the gravitation so we have the acceleration there we substitute hapo tunapata form ya time period that simple so we have a question here which I want you to practice on your own that we have a simple pendulum in a period here hapo the pendulum is shortened by 1 meter the period in a quarter 3.7 second from this measurement calculate acceleration due to gravity and the original length so it's just the same we have two periods just compare t2 over t1 is sana square root as i said Square T2, square T's length is not correspond. Square frequency length is in a top of the earth. So here we have 4.2. The pendulum has a period of 4.2 seconds. It has a shoe me under T1. Okay, 4.2. Now you are shorten T2 in a corner 3.7. Okay, so it means length 1 and length 1. Na length 2 ni length 1 ni kiwa shortened by 1 meter. So hivyo na mnae. So from this data, una square, una square uku, una ondoa i square root, una solve for L1. Una pata jivu. L1, I want you to do this on your own. Na ukisha pata L1, na kuja kwenye formula yiku kwa mba T, ni sasana 2 pi L over G. So if you have the length 1, here, you get 2 pi, use the time period ya length 1, ambo likuwa ni 4.2, then you can solve for g. Na nakoli mishia hapo na mna hiyo. So we have a pendulum of length 45.3 is hanging from the ceiling. Its motion is restricted by a peg that is sticking out of the wall with 6 cm directly below the pivot point. What is the time period of oscillation? So anyway, we don't have the figure here, but I'll draw it for you. So we have a ceiling. Okay. And here we have our attachment. So we have a pendulum here. is hanging. Okay. The length is 45 centimeters. Okay. And we have the peg. The peg is like a certain body that is uh, is sticking out of the wall. Okay, so we can assume we're having a wall here. Okay. We're having a wall. This is our ceiling board. It is there. So we can keep on back to make one touch to the wall. But uh, 26.6 directly below the pivot point. This is the pivot, the attachment. So the distance here between is 26.6 and 10. Okay, centimeter. And we have this centimeter. Okay, it means in a limit E kamba at this point. So E kamba in enter to the left. To the right, as we say, to the left, to the right. Here and oscillation here, but kumbuka, inavu enda to the left, inenda kamba nzima, hii kamba nzima, inenda left, pap. Ikirudi hapa, the mean, kuna ichi kitu kina restrict. So, this 26.6, ya hapa juu, I move. Sabu ndo nakuwa restricted hapa. Kinacho move ni ichi kipande cha chini hiki each kipande cha chini ndo kinaendelea ku move to the left to the right okay so the question is what is the period of this oscillation so what is happening ni kwamba time period is the time for total oscillation so it means hii kamba inapoenda to the left inaenda kamba nzima so tutatumia kutafuta time period ya upande wa kushoto it means Ile time period tutaipata as if the whole 
string is oscillating lakini kumbuka the whole, st- the whole string is oscillating only kama iko inaenda to the left it means kwenye ile time period utakao ipata tutaipata tutaikata half half ya ile time period ndio itakao kuwa inaenda to the left kwa sababu to the right end so inapofika kwenye mean inapokuwa imerudi kwenye mean kwenye right kinacho oscillate ni hii kamba ya chini tu kwa sababu ya juu iko restricted so kwa maana nyingine tutaitafikia sasa time period hii kamba ya chini as if inaenda to the right inarudi to the left lakini kumbuka inapoenda to the right ikirudi hapa kwenda to the left inaenda kamba nzima so upande huu inatumika time period ya kamba nzima upande huu inatumika time period ya kipande cha chini ambacho ndo kina move to the right alone lakini kumbuka time period ni total time ya ya complete oscillation lakini hii inafanya tu half inachoenda right na kurudi so time period ya hichi kipande cha chini na yenyewe na divide by 2 kwa sababu motion yake ni only to the right lakini vile vile for the whole string motion yake ni only to the left kwa time period yake utai half yenyewe ili kupata time ya kwenda kushoto lakini tutatumia time period ya hichi kipande cha chini nusu yake kupata time ya kwenda kulia so total half half ya hizo ndo napata total time ya oscillation moja katika mazingira kama haya because an oscillation maana ke lazima word iende kulia irudi kushoto ende kulia irudi kushoto namna hiyo lakini kumbuka naenda kushoto ni kamba nzima inaenda kulia ni kamba iliyoko chini ya hii peg ambayo ina restrict hii kamba small So we know from our formula pa nyuma from our formula pa nyuma the time period is given by 2 pi length of gravity as simple as that so if we have time period ya kwanza ni sasa na 2 pi length ya string sasa tumesema to the left inaenda kamba nzima so 45.3 5.3 So this is in centimeter remember to convert it into meters okay so we have 0.453 meters divided by 9.8 tutapata time period 1 and we have time period ya pili ambao sasa to the right tunatumia kamba hii ya chini hapo kwa maana yake inakuwa ni 2 pi divide by 9.8 chini length inakuwa ni 45.3 minus 26 kwa sababu ndio hichi kipande cha chini ya 26.6 ni hapo mpaka kwa peg so the remaining is the one that is eh uh, is the one that is causing the oscillation kwenda to the right so we have 45.3 minus 26 0.6 so utakacho kipata kuna matrai na 10 sawa na kitu ili ku convert kwenye meters or you can convert it into meters kwanza kumbuka hii subtract so utakacho kipata so period utakao ipata hapa divide by 2 plus period utakao ipata hapa divide by 2 unapata total time so this is what they have written here as you can see so pata the answer is 1.11 second as simple as that ilikuwa tu ni tricky lakini mtego ulikuwa tu uko hapo ambapo wame wameonyesha so this question halina tofauti na ile swali ambayo tumesha listo hili hapo so you can just review labda ulifanye tu kwa kujipima kabla hujaangalia solution and you can check the answers as you can see hapo but it's basically the same kilicho badilika tu 50 grams up any 50 grams so you can check it out so we have another question two tricky questions that can sum up our examples we have a pendulum clock that shows correct time if the length is increased by 0.1% find the error in time per day so we know time per day in a day we have 24 hours okay so let us first find what is the correct number of uh, time or uh, total time per day so we have 24 hours 
times 60 minutes times 60 seconds. So we have 86,400 seconds in a day. So let us assume kwamba kuna an error x ambayo inaongezeka kwenye that. So we can put that 86400 plus or minus x. That is the error, the incorrect number of, uh, of seconds per day. Yes, so the question here is why we to make frequency and not time period. It is because we know that uh, time period is the time for one vibration, one complete oscillation vibration. So the time taken for x vibrations number one frequency is an easy vibration the number of frequency t in a class of sana f times time period okay so our assumption here basically okay the time period is one so basically the time we are speaking about is just safe for we assume kwamba ni the frequency kwa sababu hata hivyo ingekuwa ni f times t hapa na f times t is in the cancel okay so basically ingekuwa the same so I assume kwamba the time period is one and that means the time to now ongelea the number of seconds per day do you uni frequency. So it's just a kufanya similarity. So we have two original length na a new length I'm about to mesema if the length increases by 0 0.1. It means kama mwanzo ni L ina increase to zero by 0 0.1 na ni L plus 0 0.1 L kwa na kwa ni 1 point 1L. That is the new length bondo ya hapa. 1 point uh, actually ni, z, ni 0 0.1 percent. So sorry. So 0 0.1 percent if you convert na kuwa 1, 2, na kuwa 0 0.001 So if it increases by that, it means the original length in L the new increased length in L plus 0.0001 do you have a moment one plus 0.001 L so this is the new length so we know the frequency you decide to use frequency you decide to use the uh, the time period it doesn't matter so because the the issue here you are going to find ratio so they will just cancel each other no problem so we have Formula frequency. I talk to me a time period is fine. I would suggest you to me a time period because it makes more sense. Because apart to longer seconds, na it's a unit of frequency is your seconds, ni hertz. Na it's a unit of time period, ni ni seconds. Na it's a unit of frequency actually ni ni one over one over one over second. Mana kini per second. But it doesn't matter how to sabu na kujia kuzi find the ratio so they will cancel each other in the same way at ongi and dika uke to me from a time period. Is ingi kuwa na any significance change, any significant change. So we have that form of frequency. So we have first frequency. Number, let us assume, of course, that the, the F we are talking is the number of seconds in a day. So the original frequency with the original length and again we have the new frequency with the new length so if you divide because these are constant so basically so kasema to the frequency is inverse proportional to the length so it means frequency one divided by frequency two is equal to the inverse proportional code so if we assume if one is the one ambayo ina matatizo, the time ambayo ni, ni total number of seconds in a day plus the error, as they have shown up, 86400 plus the error which is x, manake length yake ambondo iko, iko, iko increased, okay, iko, iko increased, manake the length increases by 0.1%, kuhina corresponding. Na length ya ke uko. Na hii 86400 ndio correct ndo eh, correct total number of, of seconds. Okay. In a day. In a ideal day. So na length ya ke manake the right length inakuwa ndi the opposite. So the issue here is just so for x. Mfano L na L is the cancel. So ki square this side. Ki square this side. Unapata au, au so lazima usquare that side. Unazo katafta 2 square root because this is the value. 
hii ni 1 divided by 1.0001 so na the issue is just, just of for x i don't have to teach you that so whatever way you use but you come to find x negative 43.2 seconds which shows that uh, the clock runs slow and uh, loses 43.2 seconds per day and that is the reason why we okay, increase length that's when the pendulum clock should show correct time otherwise if you have real length in a 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 kuwa high show the exact time because there is time loss kama here they should just play around with the formulas and nothing great so we have another question that we have two simple pendulums moja ina length ya 1.44 na nyingine ina 1 meter they start swinging at the same time so you have it's a ceiling lambda and we have pendulums pendulum ya kwanza na pendulum ya pili fupi pendulum ya pili fupi and pendulum ya kwanza ndef so the question is after how much time will they be out of phase and in phase kuwa out of phase it means kuwa in phase maana yake hii kienda kushoto na nyingine inaenda kushoto ikirudi kulia na nyingine narudi kulia na kuwa in, uh, uh, out of phase it means while moja inaenda kushoto nyingine inaenda kulia hii kienda kulia hii nyingine inaenda kushoto so uh, let us ask ourselves ni nyakati gani ambapo zinaweza zikawa out of phase okay let us assume kwamba motion inaanza zote zinaenda hivi so if they can maintain that huyu anaenda anafika huko maximum na huyu anaenda anafika huko maximum na wanarudi wote then they will forever be in phase lakini kumbuka huyu ana shorter length lazima atakuwa na oscillate faster kuliko huyu mwenye longer length so kumbuka restoring force is always acting towards the mean so the only way ya kuzifanya hizi pendulum ziwe out of phase ni lazima huyu mmoja tuseme huyu mrefu awe huku na huyu mfupi awe huku kwa sababu the restoring force is always acting towards the mean then restoring force ya huyu itakuwa inamrudisha kulia restoring force yao inampeleka kushoto as you can see they will cross so if that happens ni lazima moja iwe to the far right na nyingine iwe to the far left that is the only way that these pendulums zitakuwa out of phase because the storing force will be taking them in opposite direction otherwise zote zikiwa in the same side zitakuwa zinarudi zote towards the mean zote zikiwa left zote zitarudi towards the mean na zitakuwa always in phase so that means uh, for 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 this to be in phase ni kama huyu atafanya frequency fulani kwa sababu huyu ni mfupi anafanya more frequencies anakuwa na oscillate faster zaidi kwa lazima oscillate certain frequency ambayo ni sawa na yule mrefu plus a half kumbuka ku distance ya kutoka hapa mpaka kwenda huko ni half of the motion ni half of the frequency kwa sababu the total frequency ni kwenda na kurudi so ni kwenda hapo unarudi hapo kwenda huko kushoto unarudi hapo so ni kama umeenda na kurudi lakini kutoka hapa mpaka hapa alone ni half of the motion lakini kutoka hapa na kurudi tena ni full motion kwa sababu unakuwa umeenda umerudi so kutoka hapo mwanzo mpaka huko ni half of the motion lakini kutoka hapa uka travel kote kwenda na kurudi inakuwa ni full 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 motion. So uh, labda pengine mtu anaweza kajiuliza sasa hapo umenichanganya how does this how is it a half motion kwa sababu kumbuka huyu body alienda right kwanza akaenda left. Well I want you not to confuse yourself. Just assume it is assume haijapita kokote. Just assume when condition ambayo huyu yuko far left na huyu yuko far right. Just angalia mazingira hayo and you can see clearly kwamba ni half of the motion is complicated wala kutoka hapo mpaka hapo ni half of the motion ta complete motion lazima urudi tena huko sawa so, logically ni kwamba kwenye mean unaenda na kurudi unaenda na kurudi so kutoka hapo mpaka hapo alone kutoka hapo mpaka hapo alone bila kurudi bila kwenda popote ni half of the motion just to know that so this 
in the condition where they will be out of phase. Kwamba one, mrefu atakuwa na frequency f, mfuki atakuwa na frequency plus a half frequency. So, we're having two pendulums. We know time period in a pewa hiyo, ukiandika frequency saa vivyote. But mwisho wa siku, uh, tunakuja kupata after the, the ratio. So, time frequency, the, the, the period doesn't matter. So if we find the ratio, you can see T1, ratio to T1 to T2 in a 1.2. Kwa sabu 2 pi na 2 pi is the cancel due to kuna length 1 divided by length 2. Length 1, 1.4. 4 na length 2 ni 1 meter. So kitafta square root ni 1.2. So the pendulum of larger length will have smaller frequency. Chindo nicho kwa nasema. The smaller length will have a half vibration extra. So the pendulum of larger length makes F vibration in time T. So that is the time taken for them to be out of phase. Then the other pendulum will have made F plus a half vibration. So we know that uh, that time period in time for one computer oscillation. So if it takes time T period for one vibration, okay, for X vibration, what time does it take? So we can see here, if you cross multiplication time, it's a sign of x vibration times time period. Okay, divided by 1 anyway. So to get the time t, take number of vibration times time period. So it's what they have done here. Do you remember this ratio? So to Lisha Sema, number 1 over time period is what we call frequency. So it means 1 over t2. In a qua co t one over t two ni sasa na t one times one over t two. Co it means in frequency two. Co ni t one times frequency two. Like ni kumuka ili t one yue uku, okay? Ili t one yue uku ni sasa na inge kwa ni frequency two. Nenda kala tibu kwa jiri ya nukuzanga mboni slowly as one over. T1. If you want over T1, make it T1 up under you. So it means ideally E in frequency 1. So frequency 2, kuandika kumba T1 over T2, ina kwanza sana frequency 2 over frequency 1. What will say by frequency 1, do a longer string, na frequency 2 ni a shorter string. So frequency 2, and what will say ni a shorter string, do you na F plus a half, na frequency 1, na kwa na F. So here you can solve for F Unapata F ni sasa na 2.5 vibration. So if you have the frequency, nambo ni, 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 ni 2.5 vibration. So we know the number of vibration is 2.5 times time period for for the T1. Nambo T1 to the same and the longer string. Okay? T1 nambo to the same ni, ni, ni longer string. So, unachukua 2.5 times time period we know it is given by 2 pi length over gravity for this case I'm going to make gravity is equal to 10 so I'm going to make this wide so in a 1.44 divided by 10 times so this is the time period times the number of vibration in part of 5.96 so the same way the pendulum will again be in phase in which condition so as we said they will be out of phase only when is in, a, in the different extremities, moja to the left, given to the right. So when will they be in phase again? Takuwa in phase, kama huyu mfupi huu, anayesi anawasilete alaka alaka, atakimbia uh, rudi ya lipo mlefu, so that they be together. So, so assume kwenye ya hii condition. So the time they will be in phase ni kama huyu, ata, si atakuwa yuko, ame travel half of the vibration. Ata kimbia, ata rudi, alipo huyu mrefu, watakuwa pa moja huko. Afu watanza tena, kwa oscillate in phase. So it means, ili wawe in phase again, it means lazima, kama huyu ni F, huyu wa travel a half kwanza, watakuwa out of phase. Afu wa travel a half nyingine, kurudi kumwai yule mrefu, so that they be in phase again. So for them to be in phase, manaki ni F, huyu wanakuwa ni F plus 1. Badala ya half, anakuwa plus one. So otherwise, so solving it inakuwa the same way as we have solved the apple. Lakini only that this time, badala ya 
f plus a half inakuwa ni f plus 1. So I want you to complete that. Utakuja kupata vibration ni tano, uta multiply na time period ya kutumia length ya longer string, utapata the time period ni 11.92 seconds. Tunafanya hivyo kwani tumetumia kutafuta time period ya the longer string. Each time we go tunatafuta time period ya the longer string, it is because the frequency we were using here ilikuwa ni f. So f kumbuka f from here ilikuwa ni larger length. Okay? F ilikuwa ni larger length. So ndo maana katika kusolve time period zote tumetumia time period ya the longer string. Otherwise ukitaka kutumia time period ya the shorter string, it means ukumbuke hapa juu ilikuwa ni e 2.5 plus a half vibration maana zingekuwa 3. Ndio tungeweza kutumia length ya 1 na 10 the gravity hapa na e for the second case tumepata vibration tano it means uh, ili kupata tulisema f dash ndo ya larger length ili ya smaller length ili take f dash plus 1 kwa tungi multiply plus 1 zingekuwa 6 ndo tungekuja kutumia length ya 1 hapa so remember that otherwise hiyo ndo concept yake na it is as easy as that